reminds you of no snot. Hot, hot. What is going on? I know our minds are like not really working today. Okay, okay, you got it. Are you ready? No. If this is gonna last for the next 30 minutes, I'm gonna puke. Xin Chao! I'm Hazel. It's Anne Nicole and this is SSBD Nomad! <laughs> So we're on to the first stop of Da Nang, Vietnam here in day three. Yes, excited to see what's right. Oh my gosh, are we stopping? I feel like we are. Who knows, we will be hopping on a tri shop. Yeah, and we were dressed in all these beautiful outside and it was raining. The tri shop driver actually brought us to this very queen little cafe. It's called the Hoi An Roastery. And once I smell the coffee bean, I'm like, oh my gosh, I knew we might make some sort of coffee. It was quite a process. Yeah. For some reason, my coffee started dripping out so fast like nobody's business. Oh no, hers was diluted but Correct. mine was too thick. That's why we rely on cafes to give us drip coffee. My yeah. conclusion is I'll continue buying <laughs> coffee from now on. <laughs> I tried the egg coffee, something I have never tried before. I was so, so excited. And it's actually egg yolk mixed with coffee and it tasted amazing. Kind of tastes like custard. Ooh. Custard and coffee. It's not something that we can drink every day. And it's a bit too decadent but mm. on a holiday like this, Calories don't count. Exactly. <laughs> car ride to our next destination, our yes. producer asked us, where do you think we're going? Yeah. So that's when I knew it had to be something traditional. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. Okay, let's go, let's go. We were there to make our own lanterns. Yes. In the late 16th century, many people from Chinese, they uh, come here and we learn how to make the Chinese lanterns first. But after that, we change to make lanterns by bamboo. It's more flexible. We were given a lantern structure mm. and we could pick our own fabrics that we wanted to use. Yes, the entire the entire experience really taught us that patience is a virtue. Does this remind you of no snot? <laughs> a little bit. But <laughs> <laughs> Hey! <laughs> and we have to trust our own process. Sometimes if things don't look, you know, very nice mm. in the middle, you have to trust that at the end you'll be perfect. So, keep going my friend. So nice! Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> and one thing I really love about this lantern is it's foldable. You can bring it anywhere you want. You know what, I think Lin has a very poor memory. He does not remember the names even after we've introduced ourselves. <laughs> Whatever he says, he ends it with, my friend. Yes, <laughs> but the fact that he calls us like his friend makes it feel very homely. Yeah, right. so with that, thank you so much, my friend. <laughs> so I'm still trying to peel off the glue from my hands, as you can tell. Oh, it's really sticky. Yeah, we don't have to worry about our lanterns <laughs> spoiling, Baking, you know. Yeah. Because the oh, oh, the... Yeah. Yeah. Produce. Our oh, sneaky my. producer. Okay. This is us, too, too tired. tired. Like literally too tired and also too tired girls lah. Oh my gosh, you know what this means? What? Too tired cycling. If I'm the passenger, I'm okay. Oh my god, I'm scared now. Okay, can you cycle? Okay. No eh. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye, Nico, bye. <laughs> I love this scenery. I feel like the air smells really fresh. Don't get the plot twist. Mm. You are doing the cycling, she's gonna be in the tree. What kind of plot twist is that? <laughs> But you know what? It's fine. You get to burn off the lunch. I'm sure! Right? <laughs> so what? I have to chase after the jeep now? My two-wheel chase after a four-wheel? Perfect plan producer. <laughs> Perfect. And I was so thankful to be able to ride on the jeep. In the yeah. whole of Hoi An, there are only 15 of them. And they served in the Vietnam War. Yeah. And I was just on top of the jeep and she was riding behind. Oh my gosh! I don't know. I think this experience might very well replace the yoga one. Oh my gosh, this is next level! I love this. Basking in the scenery, enjoying the natural light, natural air, it's so fresh. That was so fun! These are the kind of things that excites me when I'm on holiday. Yay! So after the Jeep experience, we had the most amazing surprise. <gasps> Do we get to ride them? But we can't ride them. I can pet them. Yeah. The mother was so huge in size. I wonder if she's pregnant. I'm not gonna lie, her horns scared me a little bit though. It's okay for me to be in red, right? She's not a bull, she's a buffalo. Oh, okay, okay. We are safe, we are safe. She was really receptive to us, I think. Correct. The baby buffalo was a little more shy. Rejected. You know why? Because we're too pretty. Guys, look at this. Ben Ogla just gave us this. He said that these are strawberries. But these are not. They are eggs of snails. Oh my god. So the farmers here, they don't make a lot. So snails are easy snacks for them because they grow a lot in the fuse here. You take the bigger snails, you stir fry it and it's super crunchy. Darling, I have a present for you. Are you ready? <laughs> no. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs> I do actually have a phobia of snails. Really? Yes, it's a thing. Oh no. It's a thing. 
Kaling, okay. Oh. Escargos, anybody? So right after that, we were brought to this village where we could try basket boating. Come on in. You know, in the past, they had to tax every ship that mm. went out to the ocean. So a lot of fishermen started to build basket boats. Mm. They would just stack the basket boats. They would put everything into one huge ship. So when they go out, they will be taxed only one time. Which is so clever. Yeah. Can you imagine how much time and money they are saving? Yeah. And now they're using this <laughs> basket boat as a tourist attraction. And then they earn more money <laughs> from us. But it was a wonderful experience. They had like this little tips and tricks. They make the boat just be brown it round it round. If this is gonna last for the next 30 minutes, I'm gonna puke. Yeah, oh my gosh. Hello. 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 Oh, come down with <laughs> Just now we are just uh, any house yo. Halfway through the journey, this sudden thought popped out in my head. I've always wanted to be a dragon bolter. Why not be a basket bolter instead? Yeah. So I asked the uncle, can I roll? I think so far you're the only tourist here who is doing this. <laughs> oh. And within moments, I regret it. How is it? Let's cut it. Let me take a break. <laughs> we went to the middle of the river where everyone congregated. There was an entire party happening on water. Someone was right in the middle doing some sort of acrobatic action and everybody was like, yeah, let's go for it. At the end, he collected tips from every Correct. Boat. And I really appreciated how something that was cost saving turned into a tradition that is still celebrated today and all of the tourists can really soak in the Vietnamese culture. I love it. I love it. Babe, you know what? Yes. After the basket boat ride, I'm so hungry. Me too. Okay. So the owners of the basket boat ride were actually so kind enough to want to prepare a home-cooked meal for all of us to try. Oh, that's so sweet. Yes. I can't wait to see what is it that she's prepared. The wife of the boss is actually a chef. Yeah. So whatever she can find, it must be a feast. What are they going to cook for us? And when I saw it, I was like... Oh my gosh, guys. <gasps> you won't believe this. Water snails! <laughs> Can you get over your fear and enjoy this dish? I mean, this is SSBD. Uh -huh. We gotta try, we gotta go out there and try new things. So thereafter, the lady boss put in all the water snails into the boiling pot. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. So how are we gonna eat this? Are we gonna scoop out the meat using yes. toothpicks? Yes, okay. that's right, that's exactly that how it's done. And then this is where we gotta start twisting the shell mm. for the meat to come out. So when I got my entire juicy snail and I tried it, and babe, it was perfect. The texture of this water snail is exactly like abalone. Here we go. I was sincerely surprised. Mm. How does it taste? It really tasted like seafood. Definitely a delicacy. I never knew that something you know that sells for one dollar mm. a kilogram mm -hmm. can turn out to be like this. It makes me feel like, hey, we can do this in Singapore as well. Yeah. At home. But will we do it actually? No, not really not. <laughs> I think this entire SSBD nomad in Vietnam mm. has taught me so much. You can try things that you're familiar with even when you're overseas. Just have a change in environment. It's a very nice feeling to embrace. For me personally, I've honestly learned that travelling doesn't always have to be just relaxing and having fun. Even if the end product is not perfect, the experience is. And it will be something that I always remember for the rest of my life. With that, that sums up both of us in Vietnam. I'm looking forward to the next part of our trip and yes. that's going to be in Bangkok, Thailand. So stay tuned to SSBD Nomad!